The wait is finally over. JVC is first out of the gate to launch their new projector lineup. You may have noticed recent price reductions of the JVC NZ8 as well as their NZ9. And that's because after three years, the NZ8 and their flagship NZ9 are being replaced with brand new models, the DLA NZ800 and the DLA NZ900. Now, once the new units are available for purchase through Audio Advice, I'll update the description down below with links to both models. Now, in this video, we'll cover all the new features, the specs, the pricing, as well as the ship dates. So buckle up and let's get into it. Now, I've owned the NX7 and currently have the NZ8 in my dedicated theater room right here on a 150 inch screen in 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio, and I could not be more pleased. But today, we're gonna to be looking at these new models and they've already got me excited. So we're gonna take a look at the NZ800 and the NZ900 and see what they both have to offer. The NZ800 and the NZ900 will both utilize the existing chassis from their predecessors, but there's quite a few changes underneath the hood. The new models will both feature the new third generation native 4K DILA devices and a Gen 2 8K eShift X that can project an 8192 by 4320 image and a blue essence laser that is rated up to 20,000 hours at half brightness. Both new models will continue to use the FrameAdapt 2 which analyzes the different peak brightness per scene or per frame for HDR10 content, and it provides real-time tone mapping for optimized brightness, color, and details. The NZ800 and the NZ900 have dual 48 gigabit per second HDMI inputs with support for up to 4K120 and 8K60. Combine the 4K120 with their low latency mode, and that makes both units great for gaming. So let's compare the differences between the NZ8 and the NZ800. The NZ8 has a peak brightness of 2500 lumens. The new NZ800 will have a peak brightness of 2700 lumens from the Blue Essence Laser Phosphor Light Engine, which is an 8% increase in brightness. The improved brightness will be helpful for achieving proper HDR on screens that are 150 inches and above. The third generation native 4K DILA device provides the NZ800 with a native contrast ratio of 100,000 to 1 compared to 80,000 to 1 from the NZ8, which will provide even better blacks that JVC is known for. JVC has shared that they have made significant improvements in their manufacturing process to provide improved screen uniformity for enhanced image quality. The NZ800 will have an MSRP of $15,999. So how do JVC's flagship models, the NZ9 and the NZ900 compare? The NZ9 has a peak brightness of 3000 lumens. The NZ900 will have a peak brightness of 3300 lumens from the Blue Essence Laser Phosphor Light Engine, which is a 10% increase in brightness and 22% brighter than the NZ800. Now, if you're looking to install a massive screen of say, maybe 175 inch or larger, the NZ800 just simply won't cut it. You'll need the NZ900 to allow you to still achieve proper HDR levels. The third generation native 4K DILA device provides the NZ900 with a native contrast ratio of 150,000 to 1 compared to 100,000 to 1 from the NZ9. The NZ900 will have an MSRP of 25,999. Now, although both of these new models are still pricey, even after three years, I'm just glad that JVC didn't increase the pricing for the new lineup. The NZ800 and the NZ900 will be available sometime in June. Now, as soon as they're available on Audio Advice, I'll update the description of this video and add a pinned comment with links to both models. Now, if you still need help deciding which model is right for your home theater, take a look at Audio Advice's projector calculator. This is a great tool and resource. I'll link to it down in the description below. And they'll also have an in-depth article 
on this new series with a lot more details that I did not cover here in this video. I'll also link that down in the description below. Now I'd love to hear your thoughts on the new NZ800 and the NZ900 models. If you already own the NZ8, will you be upgrading to the NZ800? For those of you that have the NZ9, will you be upgrading to the NZ900? Now maybe you have a projector from the older NX series or maybe the NZ7. So if so, will you be upgrading to maybe the NZ800 or the NZ900? Now for those of you that want the latest, greatest, and the absolute best that JVC has to offer, I believe the new models are certainly tempting. And for those of you that are building your home theater and are considering which projector should you buy, I would absolutely consider the NZ800 or the NZ900 for your room. Now let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the new lineup. And as always, hope you guys have an incredible week. God bless, and we will catch you in the next video.